Welcome to the Now I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm Josh Flanagan. It's time for another round of Kojima Watch 2015, everyone. Could Hideo Kojima's extended vacation finally be drawing to a close? Is the saga finally over? Yes, Stay tuned. Yesterday, a Nikkei report confirmed that Kojima was officially out at Konami. Yay! Congratulations! Soon after, Konami gave word to several Japanese websites that Kojima had indeed left the company in a statement titled, Shit Everyone Already Knew. But then rumors began to come out of Japan that Kojima was already in talks with Sony for a PlayStation exclusive. Overnight, Sony confirmed these rumors with an official announcement video with none other than Kojima-san himself. In the video, Kojima states that he's launched an independent studio, of course, called Kojima Productions. Hmm, wonder where I've heard that name before. Mm. And that he'll be working on a new title exclusive to PlayStation 4. His new studio's website went live last night with an appropriately Kojima headline and a ton of job postings. Some of Kojima's former cohorts reportedly also left Konami yesterday, including Kenichiro Maizumi, a formal Metal Gear Solid producer. Do you think their new office is an offshore plant like Mother Base? Could be. I look, like, that sounds cool to me. With a fat man that runs around and puts bombs. That's Metal Gear Solid 2. Whatever. These, all these goats keep turning up. I don't know. It's like what? all these balloons just come down with goats and they start working. Who knows? I don't know what game you played, but. <laughs> Is that, that in five? Yeah, that's Jesus in five. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this marks the end of nearly 30 years for Kojima at Konami, where he began work there in 1986 as a designer and planner. After successfully creating the Metal Gear franchise that truly launched his fame, Kojima fell on a bit of hard times with Konami in recent years. The latest drama between the two came at this month's Video Game Awards, where Kojima was banned from attending by Konami lawyers due to his current status with the company. It's inconceivable to me that a, an artist like Hideo would not be allowed to come here and celebrate with his peers. Supposedly, Jeff Keighley's rant was all off script. Too. Yeah, you know what that was, was that was we can't risk you talking or saying anything to anyone about anything. So how did we get here? No way really, Konami kept inventing new ways to be terrible. <laughs> That's the short version. There was the cancellation of his horror collaboration with Guillermo del Toro, the restricting of key Kojima production staff from using the internet. They eventually removed his name from the game completely and then removed him altogether and shut his studio down. That's an escalation. Konami would confirm none of this, by the way, and instead insisted that Kojima was just on vacation. Well, that's like what you say when you've just like assassinated someone. Well, it's, like, like, it's, like, in... it's like he's just gone to a farm. Yeah, he's at his uh, resort in Denver. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it got to the point that I was half expecting a Milger Solid 6 mission where we had to sneak into Konami to retrieve an imprisoned Kojima. That would have been a good mission. Um, I yeah. would be surprised to That'd see it. That would have been sweet. Maybe that's in his new uh, Blackjack and Hookers version of Metal Gear Solid. Is that a thing? Uh, oh my goodness. It could be. Uh, well, either way, we are glad he was extracted safely. Uh, Kojima has said a number of times over the years that he wanted to be done with Metal Gear and move on to something new, and now it seems like he's been forced to retire Snake's eye patch for good. So. Then what's next for Kojima? Well, from some of his past games like Police Knots, Zone of the Enders, and of course Metal Gear Solid, it's I no think, stretch. Sorry. What do you think? I think you're missing his best game, Snatcher, which is one of my favorite games ever, Sega CD. Didn't he also work on that one, Bok, Bok Toy, Bok Tai? The one is the Game Boy game where you had oh, to get the sun. sunlight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You think of Bok Tai 2, bitches. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> but based on all of those games, it's Really no stretch to imagine he has a bit of a thing for giant robots and or vampires. Eh, he said before that he loves anime like Evangelion, so let's just be glad that Metal Gear didn't end with third impact. Could Kojima offer a spiritual successor to one of his other past games and deliver us a truly awe-inspiring giant mecha game? It doesn't seem too likely. Uh, in an interview with Game Informer last year, Kojima said he'd want to do something totally different next time around. Can't when blame him. Yeah. When asked about his next pursuits, he stated, Within the game industry, I would like to make more games that have that indie game taste or some completely different type of game with a big budget. Something in a completely different direction. So he either wants to do a AAA crazy big game or a little tiny game. Yes, either way, it probably isn't going to have giant robots or sneaking around in a cardboard box in the near future. Well, Kojima also has huge love of science fiction and cyberpunk in particular, citing Blade Runner and Akira as inspirations for his Snatcher games. There we go. Which put an amnesiac detective in a post-apocalyptic world against a bunch of body snatching cyborgs. It's so good. Uh, if you haven't played it, it's so good. It really sounds pretty much right in his wheelhouse of, of crazy, for sure. Uh, movies have always been referenced heavily in Kojima's games, and he's constantly thinking about how to tie the mediums together to tell his stories. Uh, in a 2008 Kikizo interview, he said he probably took this a little too far with Metal Gear Solid 4, but that he'd like to experiment with branching narratives. He said, quote, When there's a concrete storyline and you kind of go along with that rail, you feel the destiny of the story, which at the end makes you feel more moved. 
But when you make it interactive, if you want multiple stories where you go on one way or another, will that make the player more moved when he or she finishes the game? These two points are really the key which I'm thinking about, and if this works, I think I could probably introduce a more interactive storytelling method. Now, this love of marrying movies with games eventually led to his collaboration with Guillermo del Toro on PT, the proof of concept teaser for Silent Hills. RIP. Deep down, we're all hoping that the two can somehow revive this concept, although that seems more unlikely now than ever since the property and work all belongs to Konami, but who knows, maybe they can collaborate again and make something in a similar spirit, you know, that scary as shit kind of spirit, or maybe everything will finally come true and Microsoft will buy it and bring it back. Something? We can hope. We'll take anything at this point. Christmas miracle, right around the they corner. They do happen. And as for Kojima's series Metal Gear Solid, well, with all of this Konami drama hopefully in the past, it truly does seem to mark an end for the Metal Gear Solid franchise as we know it. Sure, Konami has said that it continues to plan for the next iteration of the series, but without Kojima supervising, there's much doubt about whether it could possibly be the same game. Is Metal Gear without Kojima even Metal Gear any longer? Well, I mean, they did have the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, but that's a completely different type of game. They're probably talking about like Metal Gear Solid Pachinko or something Oof. with the way they're going. Anyway, with all the rumors circling Kojima over the last six months, it is nice to see that the one about his retirement didn't come to pass and that he plans on creating games for a long time to come. That's good, right? Uh, last night he tweeted that he's committed to being involved in creative activities as long as I live. Look forward to what's coming. I was expecting a smiley face at the end of that. Um, <laughs> games are such huge collaborations of talent and often overseen by such a committee that there are really few true auteurs in the industry, but Kojima is one through and through. In many ways, he helped give rise to the idea of the gaming auteur, thanks to the unique style and committed direction that he brought to all of his games. Metal Gear Solid was a landmark video game and inspired so many gamers and creators to think in new ways about what a video game could achieve. It's awesome to see that one of the masters will continue, and without Konami's phantom-limbed restraint, one can only imagine what Kojima will think of next. It'll be just like Four or five years until we play it, probably. I will say it can be terrifying to see what Kojima does without restraints. <laughs> what do you guys want Kojima to work on after Metal Gear? Will the franchise just be a big shell of its former self? For the latest on Kojima, watch 2015, soon to be 2016. Whoa. Like this video and subscribe to The No. Get Who? What? Metal Gear, Get Ah, gotcha. So <laughs> this there. <laughs> You do a good demos on this, ne? You speak Japanese? Very, very little. Nice. Skoshi oh. desu. Like, it's like kind of like saying like, I, yeah, like so. It's like I would like to, but and then but you just leave it. You don't ever answer it. Gotcha. It's like, so it's just like it's even more passive aggressive than I have to wash my hair. It's like, yeah, that sounds great, it's but like, I'd like to go, but. And, and then you just it. like walk away. That's the end, right? Wow. Or you just stop talking. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's harsh. There's no way. Well, just when the ongo chotto hanasimas. Eh, just wa san undashi san. Hai. Oh, sumimasen. Sumimasen ka chotto.